That is a lot wow. of wind yeah, that we had out there today. Well, you know what that means. What's that? Vince, you're breaking out the racquetball. Oh, We're right. going back to Candela's weather class well, days right this now. Is, this is a tried and true experiment, <laughs> but it is one way to sort of show the wind on a day like today. And it's all set up by the difference between high pressure and low pressure. And you can think of the high pressure as sort of being like a hill and the low pressure as being a valley. And air parcels will slide downhill, much like this racquetball slides down this clipboard here. Uh, the steeper the slope, the uh, faster the ball will slide down. So the, the bigger the difference is between high pressure on one end and low pressure on the other, that's a very steep pressure gradient and that causes that wind to really howl. Great example today of just that in right. our, on our, across the country. Right, in fact, let's take a look at that here with the radar and satellite. You can see that counterclockwise spin off to the north of us now, yeah, and the snow across the northern part of the state as well. So there's our low pressure area off to the north. We've got just a few spotty showers trying to roll through tonight, although the air now very dry here at the surface. Surface, so some sprinkles will be about it. So the area of low pressure is off to the north area of high pressure down to the south across the southern plains. So there's the top of the hill, so to speak, the bottom of the hill as Vince was talking about off to the north. That's your pressure gradient or the change in air pressure, air pressure of about 30 inches of mercury with that area of high pressure and a deep area, a strong area of low pressure off to our north right now, 29.29 inches of mercury. It is that change in air pressure that that causes the wind. So that's the reason why we had those strong winds gusting over 60 miles an hour in some parts of southeast Wisconsin this afternoon.